Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Chris Bennett, Rotterham, UK. A prayer for revival. This post has been rattling around my brain for years. Is it time now to prepare for house churches to be the norm? Is it time to organize ourselves in readiness for what's coming? I certainly don't think it's right to sit tight and hope that the rapture will solve our problems. Here are my thoughts on the subject. There's a growing urgency in my spirit, an urgency indeed, a deep yearning for house church to take off. House church is a place for healing and deliverance, for prophecy, for growing disciples in their faith and their gifting. These are things which, generally speaking, the church has forgotten to do because they're so wrapped up in their programs. The Lord just pulled me up short in my tracks. How would you answer this? I have been telling you and telling you that I am coming very soon. What if I didn't mean I am coming for my bride, but I am coming, as always promised, in power and authority, in order to set revival in place? And after that, Lord, then is not for you to know yet. Father God wants us to bring revival more than we want to see it, apparently. The trouble is, we don't believe it before we see it, when we're supposed to believe it into being and then see it manifest. Add to that the very obvious world's dislike and distrust for Christians and Christianity. We, we now tend to pray without any real belief with, with the resulting disappointments. Now the church has rolled over without so much as a squeak of protest, let alone any reasoned defense of our faith and practices, so we stand muzzled and condemned to near silence. How long before we're illegal, I wonder? I'm longing for the day when I hear or read about house groups and churches being shaken by the manifest power of the Holy Spirit moving among us. I'm longing to see to see us speak out with boldness, stretch out the Lord's hand in healing, seeing the prisoners freed. Lord, come in your own authority and power. Bring revival. We may not be ready when you come, but we'll keep up with you as best as we're able. Shake us, Lord. Shake our houses, our foundations, our very lives with the manifestation of your Holy Spirit. Come, Lord Jesus, come. See Acts 4, 29-31 in your time with the Lord. Heavenly Father, we do pray for revival, but I share my brother Chris's not skepticism, but hesitancy, maybe. Lord, we pray for revival, but why can't we believe it into existence? Why can't we step out boldly in faith? Sure, we can see some folks are. We follow them on social media. We like their comments. But Lord, the, the conviction of my own spirit when I, when I get on, into a meeting with, with my coworkers, when I'm talking to my neighbor across the fence, Sometimes you're the last thing on my heart or on my mind to talk about. Lord, I pray that your revival would start with me, that your revival would start with my friend. And Lord Jesus, may we see an explosion of demonstration, signs and wonders, and, and house churches. What a great idea. Lord, we love you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.